Hey guys, it's Amelia and in today's video I'm going to show you how to complete the lighthouse quest to get the free Heart of the Ocean necklace but before we do that make sure to like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications. Alright so as you can tell I am at spawn and in order to find the lighthouse you have to go in this direction. I think it's obvious it's not hard to miss this lighthouse but I'm showing you how to get there for those who don't know how to find it. And so what we're going to do is make our way over to the lighthouse by flying all the way over and we're going to click a few times until we get a dialogue. So we got this dialogue that popped up. You hear a faint rustling coming from the inside. No answer. You can faintly hear a cat meowing. You press your ear against the door, silent as a, as a still sea. Despite the light functioning at night, it seems abandoned. Strange. Silence. Alright, so after you get that dialogue, you're gonna go down to this store down there, as you can see. I forgot what it's called. It's like called Crown Casuals or something like that. And the closer we get, you're gonna notice that there's this girl down here. And they're called the Vacationer. And they're small. So we're gonna talk to them. Ah, you scared me. Don't sneak up on someone like that. Sorry. Sigh. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's just... I thought this place was going to be fun. And, and it is. It's just... What's wrong? Well, I came here on vacation. I booked a nice B&B &B overlooking the gorgeous blue ocean. And the weather has been so nice. But I'm worried. I started talking to some locals. And they say the lighthouse is really freaky. How so? The light. I've seen it from my room. I can't sleep because of it. Some say it's abandoned, but it just can't be. Who is turning the light on at night? I'm telling you, it's weird. Some even say it's cursed or haunted. I just wouldn't go near that place if I were you. Alright, so we have reached the quest save point. And what we're going to do from there is we're going to go back to the lighthouse and bang on the door again. Knock, 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 knock. Alright, now let's see. Now we've got some dialogue. Dot, dot, dot. Is anybody home? Dot, dot, dot. Hello? Dot, dot, dot. Is anybody there? I'm not home! And now we're going to continue to annoy the person. Stop knocking on the door, XX Melee the Gamer. Yes, I know your name. <laughs> And you're just gonna keep knocking. The last person who kept knocking on my door mysteriously disappeared. I suggest you stop knocking, Amelia. Amelia, what are you doing here? It's not like there's a secret hidden here or anything. <laughs> Curious what lies behind my door, are you? Too bad, you won't know unless nothing. Uh, nobody is here, go away! Whatever you're selling, I don't want none of it. Can't you hear me? I'm not home. Take three steps away from my door, Amelia, or I'll summon the wrath of my guard cats. Gigi and Momo. All right, that's enough. Stop! Do you live here? Yeah, unfortunately. I don't know why anybody would want to be near this dreary lighthouse, much less a youngin like you. Now scram! Go into town, find a candy store or something. You know, that ice cream store is really great. Now could you please leave my poor door alone and get a life or something? Harsh. Alright, so as you can tell by the blue text, it suggests that we go to the ice cream shop. And actually just to save myself a trip from flying back and forth, I'm just gonna actually reset. Since I don't have any items on me, it's just as simple as that. So we've respawned back near the ice cream shop. And all we're going to do is talk to the ice cream shop lady or Darla. Welcome to Frostbite. What can I get for you? About the lighthouse. Uh, oh no, it's eating you. Come on now. We can't have bitter faces infecting our desserts. <laughs> do you know anything about the old guy in the lighthouse? 
Oh, that old sourpuss? Mm, well, I'll tell you, you know, when I first set up the shop here, nobody bought my stock. I felt like giving up. That, and one evening before I was locking up, would you believe it? That old fella came into my shop, all secretive looking. I was kind of scared at first, so I offered him a sample to calm the tension. Then what? He froze up, then said it was the best food he'd ever tasted. It gave me the confidence to continue. Now I have more customers than I can wave a candy cane at. Ain't that something? He ain't so bad, I tell ya. He's just got a hard shell. Everybody like that is real sweet on the inside, I bet ya. He goes outside? Sure has sugar he does. Since my shop got more popular and I hired more employees, ain't this a shame? I really see him now. He always visits here before closing hours, but he's a difficult guy to forget. My employees say he leaves generous tips. If you want to know more honestly, you'd have to ask whichever employees work the late shifts. And so, now we have to check the schedule. And just to save you some grief, as you can tell, the last people there are Vivian, Melody, and Luke. What you're going to do is go to Luke because the other two lie to you and it's a waste of your time. And yes, I know this because I've completed the quest before. And so we're going to head towards this long island here that's out of my camera view. But if you head closer towards the coming soon docks being built, you're going to see this long island here. And you're going to see this other mini dock with all those little jet skis or whatever they are. I forgot. You know, those water vehicle thingies. And so we're going to continue there by flying or swimming. Whatever your preference is. I just like to fly personally and I think it's faster. And so we're going to make our way to Mr. Luke here and we're going to talk to Luke. Hey, do you work at Frostbite? Uh, I guess I do, yeah. Don't tell me I've been fired or something. <laughs> Does an old man ever come in during your late shifts? Hmm, well, there's this one guy that stands out. He always comes in right before closing time. He seems so sneaky. Like he's trying to keep the fact that he comes to the shop like a secret. I can't complain though, even though he smells of, sw of seawater and mothball, he always gives a nice tip. Cool guy. I think he orders a strawberry ice cream in a cup. He orders it every single time without fail. He must really like it. Seems uncharacteristic for an old man to buy. I mean, I guess so, but hey, I don't assume. You know what they say about assuming. Alright, and so we have to return to the ice cream shop to get some strawberry ice cream in a cup and bring it to the lighthouse and yes I am going to be reading all of the dialogue just because I can all right so we're gonna order from Darla welcome to frostbite what can I get for you can I order something sweet sure what will it be all right so as you can tell we have cones and cups and we're going to the cup side to order the strawberry ice cream in a cup and now I was gonna jump out the window but then I realized it was a window so we're gonna fly all the way back over to the lighthouse and I forget if we actually have to hold it or not I think you just have it in your inventory and that's enough and we're gonna go bang on the lighthouse door again like the annoying character we are in the game knock 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 come on hey I have something for you I told you I don't hey is that strawberry ice cream yeah I have some here you can have some if you let me in Dot dot dot. Please. Dot dot dot. Come on, I looked all over town trying to find what you wanted because I want to help you. Dot dot dot. You can't stay in there forever. <sighs> GG Momo, stand down. I guess it's finally time. Alright, and so now the lighthouse is open and we can go inside. The old man seems to be nowhere in sight. He must have rushed upstairs. There! You're inside! Now just leave it on the table and don't touch anything! Alright, so as you can see, there's the table. I don't think- Oh yeah, you can actually place the ice cream in there. There's the ice cream in the cup. And now actually, there's a diary. And if we try to open it, it looks like it needs a key. And the key's under this blanket, so you just click it there and we can take the diary key and stick it in the diary. And then we got a normal Royal Height diary here. So, we got the captain. If found, please return to our Shiver Me Whiskers. If you open the journal, it just has a bunch of story stuff, which is, I guess, irrelevant. If you want to read it, you can read it if you like. And now the next step is to actually go to his Roblox profile. And on the profile, there is some description there that helps you with the next part of the quest. 
And I've already done that for you guys. If you want, you can check out his profile for yourself to see, but I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of, well, cutting it and making it easier for you guys. So next what we're gonna do, I believe, is go down into this cave. As weird as it's gonna sound, yes, we're gonna go in here and I am very forgetful if this is actually the next step. So hopefully this is right because I would cry if it isn't. And so we're gonna go down here and you're probably thinking what's down here? Well, as you can see here, this is a little vault thingy. Make sure to unequip any tools before clicking. Okay, thanks for that. So um, I'm actually inside it, surprisingly. So you're probably thinking, what is this? As you can tell, there are Roman numerals on it saying one, two, three, and four. For those who don't know how to read it, although that isn't the correct version of four, but who cares? So as you can see, there's this arrow pointing upward and this is the key here. I want to, you're done, you click submit. So out of the code there, the first thing we got was starfish. And yes, I'm too lazy to actually tell you how to decipher the code. That's why you're probably watching it for the answer anyways. And then the next one we're going to do is Pearl. Please think. And after Pearl is Tail. And so we have to click all the way to the Mermaid Tail. Come on. All right, and then the last one is Sailboat. And for those who are just curious on how to actually decode the code yourself, in the description, he kind of hints at these words. Oh my God, I went past it, I'm so mad at myself. He hints at these words in capitals, or not really capitals, the first letter of it is caps, so it's kind of easy and obvious to tell. I'm not sure if that's actually the correct one. That might be a bubble, so we'll have to see if that's actually correct. Oh my god, I went past the sailboat again. I'm so mad. Okay, after a technical difficulty, okay, it's wrong. Okay, that's clearly a bubble then. My bad, guys. We're gonna have to click all the way to the one with the shell. There we go. Now let's do it. Submit. There we go. Now it's correct. Clearly, your boy can't identify the difference between a bubble and a seashell. How sad. There we go. The boulders beside here open up. I am dumb. I thought like that door opened up something and we're gonna travel down into here and as you can see underneath here there is a hidden shipwreck and we're gonna make our way to here and bang on this door I believe. Yep, the captain ship. Knock knock knock. Get lost! No, not again! What are you blundering on about? Go away. Please let me in. I just need something the captain left here. No way! This is my house now! I've never had a house! I've always lived on the seafloor! You can't make me leave! I pulled this ship into the cave myself! Used all the magic I could get it to fit in here! Precisely for this reason! To get dummies like you to leave me alone! If you try to get in, I'll turn you into a chum and eat you up! Is there anything I can do to get you to let me in? Da da da. Hmm, well... Go on. I've always wanted to try some of that human food! If you can get me some, you think I'll like, maybe I'll be nicer on a full stomach. Uh, what exactly do you want to eat? Something chocolatey. We don't find much chocolate down here. And then I think that's the end of this dialogue with it. Don't come back to have chocolate for me! Yep, and that's the end there. And now we're going to reset out of this cave. And we're going to go back to the ice cream shop. Okay, now that we're back at spawn, we're gonna go talk to Darla again. This time I'm not gonna read the dialogue because I think it's pretty set on what she says here. All right, we're gonna order something, and this time what we need to order is the chocolate cone instead. And then we have to go all the way back to that diddly do cave. And yes, if you don't have the fly pass, the flying is time consuming and whatever. Sadly enough, we're gonna make our way over there. Okay. Flying through the cave. I don't actually think we need to hold it out, but I'm just holding it out right now. Watch me accidentally eat his ice cream, I would cry. Or maybe I can put my saliva on it and he'd still eat it anyways. Okay. Flying through the cave. Oh, 
All right, knock, knock, knock. Oh, is that it? it smells so good. Oh, mm -hmm. Wow, wait, it's delicious. Can I come in now? Hey, uh, I guess so. Just don't dirty up the place with your land smell. All right, and now we can go inside here. And of course, I guess if you want, you can explore this uh, supposedly cool place. But the most important thing you're going to see here is this satchel on the chair. And then we've reached the quest save point. And now you don't want to reset because this is an item and I'm actually not sure what happens if you reset. But most likely to most items in your inventory, they would disappear. We wouldn't want that happening to the satchel now, would we? That's kind of dangerous. So anyways, we're going to return back to the surface to the lighthouse. If I can navigate my way out of here without getting lost with the satchel and we're gonna go bang on our fellow grumpy voices lighthouse door again bang 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 i mean knock 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 i don't know i just like to say bang 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 because we seem very very annoying to this poor old man but he gives us something in return anyway so i think it's worth it knock 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 hey open up go away you don't you really don't let up do you have you ever decided to become a captain or something that kind of job is really suited for this kind of tendency, you know? Captain Whiskers, I have something that belongs to you. How do you know that? My name? No! You haven't been reading my diary, have you? You're really lucky you're out there, not in here, you rotten l Please, just hear me out. Dot dot dot. I went to your boat. I found your things. The door creeps open just a bit. Holds up the satchel. The door swings open. You. That's. That's really it. You really found it? It's been so long since I saw it. He opens the bag and pulls out a tightly sealed case. Inside is a stack of photographs of a young man, a woman, and a little boy with sparkling eyes. The captain goes silent for a moment. His eyes glossy as he regards the photographs and memories they bring. Uh, thank you. Um, I guess an apology is in order. I'm sorry for yelling at you. It's just, Volcane never done something this nice for me before. Not in a long time. They're kind of afraid of me, but that's my fault. I ain't exactly approachable. Here, I want you to have this jewelry I found while exploring the sea. It don't mean nothing to me anymore. I never use it. Anyways, sure, a young like you could get some use from it. Uh, maybe this lighthouse ain't so bad. The light at night can help other folk find land in conditions where I couldn't. But hey, don't you go reading people's diaries without asking. Not everyone is as forgiven as this old man. The darn sun feels so harsh after being cooped up inside for so long. What will you do now? Eh, uh, good question, I guess. I guess some changes are in order. I might start talking to the town's folk more. Start being a person rather than a hermit crab, maybe. For now, though, I just want to stand out here, look out over the ocean, think of happier times, and feel the sun in my face. And there we go. We've gotten the badge, and we've gotten our reward. And if we click to open it, we unlocked the Heart of the Ocean necklace item. I don't know why I said unlocked. We got it, though. And if we go to our inventory, as you can tell, my bodice is covering it up. Wow, we'll have to take that off. And that's what the accessory looks like. It's a very cute heart necklace, and I'm pretty sure to reference the Titanic if you haven't watched that yet. You'll understand why if you do when you do. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!